We'll look at putting in a bulleted slide next to show the sail staff and the area that they cover. And we'll look at indenting our bullets using the ribbon. Click on the lower half of the new slide button. This allows you to see the templates that are available to you and to choose the one that fits with what you are doing. Let's select the two content slide. Click into the title box and type in Sales Staff. Click down into the left box. As you can see, these boxes can be used for one of seven different purposes. If you start typing, it becomes a bulleted box and the other choices will vanish. Type in Area Covered and press Enter. Type in North, press Enter. Type in Ed Delaney, press Enter. Type in Frank Mullins, press Enter. Type in South, press Enter. Type in Luisa Garcia, press Enter. Type in Kevin Byrne, that's the last, so don't press Enter. Now for this side, I'm going to show you how to indent your bullets using the ribbon. Place your cursor in front of the word North. Click on the Increase List Level button once. Click in front of the word South and repeat. Click in front of the name Ed Delaney. Click on the Indent button twice to indent it under North. Repeat again for Frank Mullins. Now, you don't have to do each line individually. Let's highlight the last two names and click the indent button. If you indent too far, you can always outdent, as I like to call it. Place your cursor in front of the word north, click on the decrease list level button, do the same for Ed, press in the button twice. Once you're finished, make sure to save your work. I always choose Control and S on the keyboard to carry out the save.